Hello super user. Today we're going to learn how to swap staves in Finale. So let's say you want to take this top stave and the bottom stave and actually make the notes on the page switch positions. Normally this would require a bunch of copy pasting and maybe moving to other layers and then messing around with stuff like that. Uh, but let's say you just want to do that in a simple keyboard shortcut and not have to worry about messing with anything. Uh, well that's actually quite simple and we're going to use two plugins. We're going to use JW Lua and we're going to create a custom keyboard shortcut. Now if you don't know how to do either of those off the top of your head, I will link in the description videos on how to do that. But to start off, we're going to go to the JW Lua website. We're going to come down to some quick scripts in JW Lua and we're going to go to swap staves. Next all we have to do is copy everything in this code box, come back to Finale, go find our JW Lua plugin, and then in the development environment we're just going to paste it. Here's a quick tip with JW Lua. Uh, we're actually going to change the plugin definition. And this allows us to change the name so that way the stuff in the menu bar it doesn't say like something 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 dot Lua. It actually says something more in readable English. And we're also going to change the undo text. Uh, so that way when we go over to edit undo it'll actually tell us what exactly we're undoing. So plugin name, we're going to just label this swap staves. Uh, undo text, we're also going to label this swap staves. And then if you want to add a description, it's only available here. We could just say it swaps the top and bottom of the selected staves. Nice and simple. Hit OK. Um, we're going to save this. Save as uh, wherever you normally keep the plugins. That's where we're going to save it. And we're going to call this swap staves dot Lua. Make sure it says dot Lua because without dot Lua it won't work. Hit save. Next, go up to the manager because we want this in the menu bar so we can create a keyboard shortcut. Hit menu, new, and then we're just going to go find that plugin that we just saved and then hit open. So swap staves. There it is. Open it up. Now it'll tell us finale needs to be restarted for it to appear in the menu. And that's true, so we're going to close this out. And then we're going to restart finale. We're not going to save that. We're going to open up finale. Next, we're going to, uh, just for proof of concept, I'm going to create a document such that we can actually see this plugin at work. Next, you'll notice that up here, uh, we should be able to see swap staves as one of the available plugins. That's going to be useful. So next, we're going to define a keyboard shortcut for it. So I'm going to go over here, open up System Preferences, Keyboard Shortcuts. App Shortcuts, select Finale, and we're going to type in Swap Staves. Now if you didn't name the plugin Swap Staves, make sure this menu title is exactly the thing you named it as. Uh, keyboard Shortcut, we're going to do that as our keyboard shortcut. Hit Add, and now just for proof of concept, we're going to just type in a couple notes here. There we go. Select them too hit our keyboard shortcut, and we'll notice that the staves are swapped, and we can go back and forth just swapping the staves all we want. Now let's say we have yet another staff on here. You will notice that if we do the top and bottom, it'll only swap the top and bottom staves selected, so that way we can swap any two staves on the page. And so that's it for today. If you found this at all helpful, make sure to like and subscribe so that way you can stay up to date with all the tips that are coming out.